just a few miles from here in the Yorkshire coal field, they've grown used to the idea of death and disaster as the price men have to pay for coal. Even the fish that comes into Hull just across the Humber over there is bought at the cost of the trawlers which never return. Now Flixborough has joined the unhappy band of communities who pay for other people's progress with human lives. This is the price of nylon. It was exactly seven minutes to five on Saturday afternoon when the clock at Burton Post Office, two miles away, was stopped by the force of the biggest peacetime explosion ever known in Britain. No one yet knows what caused the chemicals used in nylon making to ignite with such devastating effect. But already the statistics begin to make grim reading. 29 believed dead, many more injured, damage worth anything up to 70 million pounds, homes battered and in some cases destroyed. Worst hit were the six semi-detached houses in Stather Road, which look 300 yards across a field, straight towards the Nipro Chemical Works. We're watching the Schoolboy International, and where this rumbling, the, the, the noise, and the, the little lad went to the window and he said, Daddy said, Nipro's going up, and he tried to drag me out. Well, we used to fires down there, so, I, you know, I went to the window, I'm looking with that, I see the flashing bang, and there was explosion just threw me all around the room and that was it when I come the little lad come through covered back in blood he'd blown him through the French windows and he come back and must have knocked me out and he come and he dragged us out we got in the back feet was outside I just saw this huge cloud of white smoke going up you see and, the, and our next door neighbor a young girl with a baby called out Mrs. Fish what's happening I said it's Nipro and it's going to go up and beyond that it happened there was the, there was no no I don't remember any noise there was this awful wind, I suppose, and it blew me down the drive, and I laid on the drive there, and all these tiles fell on me. And beyond that, that was it. The next, I got up, I came to telephone my husband, because he was at work, the telephone was hanging out of that window, and Nipro was a sheet of flame the whole length of the building. Well, I certainly didn't realise this was going to happen. People that worked there said that if ever there was a fire, and it got out of control, Flixborough stumped up, we got. up. My God, it has. I understand there's only part of the works that have gone up, but if the rest had gone up, you can't imagine what would have happened. It could have been much worse. This was the office block. Had it been an ordinary weekday, 50 girls would have been at work inside. And in all, 200 workers would have been in the plant. Though nothing on this scale was ever imagined, trouble at Nipro was something the local residents had come to take almost for granted. We used to seeing, we used to seeing the fire engines go down as well, and we just went to the windows to look, because we see the blooming fire, you know. They it often just have fires from the corner. They, they often have fires here. Oh yes, there's been fires, yeah. I've lived here for 26 years with their chemical works because it was Fison's. My husband worked for Fison's for 23 years. And I knew it was dangerous then. I've been all over this plant when it was built. We were taken on a conducted tour because we worked for Fison's. And I knew it was more dangerous. And I thought someday something might happen. But I thought it would be something like... Um, uh, an explosion that would go up in the air. There would be a loud bang and, and we would see an explosion. Nothing. I never in my wildest dreams thought anything like this would happen to us. I wouldn't have stayed here if I had. For the survivors, it's time to start picking up the pieces and to wonder if they're going to be exposed to the same risk all over again. How do you view the prospect of making a new home? Never here. Never here. And where I'm going to go, I don't know. We don't have a home. We're, it's rented property. We don't own a house. I hope to grief they never rebuild there. How can they? They mustn't. They mustn't. <laughs>